Every headstone has its own story, and today with us we have the lineup who are going to unearth some crazy graves worldwide. Uh, break it down, guys. Hey, all right, so let's talk about some strange graves. The first one we're going to discuss is Fernand Arbelo. Now, you can find Arbelo's grave in Père Lachaise, in Paris, France. Arbelo was a musician, and he passed away during the Nazi, Nazi occupation of France. His dying wish was to forever gaze into the face of his departed wife. And as you can see, he did a very good job at doing that for all eternity. Cool. Cool. Um, so the second grave is found um, in the Netherlands, in the south, and it's in the old cemetery of Roermond. There were, there was a couple, um, the husband was Protestant, the wife was Catholic, and unfortunately they couldn't be buried in the same cemetery. Um, so they both got plots that leaned up against a, a wall that ran through the two cemeteries. The husband died first, and he, you know, um, they erected this gravestone for him. Um, eight years later, his wife passed away, and when they erected hers, they added those joining hands across the tops of the grave so that they would always be holding hands for all of eternity. What a romantic grave. Yes. <laughs> Continuing on this theme of eternal devotion, we're going to go to Hiawatha, Kansas. Now, this is the gravestone of John and Sarah Davis, the John and Sarah Davis Memorial. Sarah passed away, and uh, it broke John Davis's heart in pieces. He used his entire life savings to construct a massive memorial to his wife. And what you can find there are 11 life statues of the couple in various stages of their lives, so as a young couple, as an older couple, and then on top of that, a stone canopy, which weighs reportedly about 50 tons. Again, what an amazing list. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, see you guys next time. Sounds great. Thank you. Keep it weird. <laughs>